Hey, this is Mike at Ham Radio Science. Today we're taking a look at running your SDR radio uh, using the iPad as a front end. And the way we're doing that is using a couple of programs. One is the uh, Skype program. The uh, second is a program you could download from the App Store for the uh, iPad, and that is Air Display. And uh, basically, when you install Air Display on your iPad, you install a server part on your PC, and then it actually just sends the video and the uh, touchscreen inputs directly to the software that you're running. So all you have to do is just drag the software uh, to the iPad screen, just drag that screen right on here, and then you can use it. You can work with anything, but we're just looking at Power SDR today. And you'll notice that I have access to all the buttons. I can change the filters. Okay. Change anything on here. Plus, we can uh, actually just drag the tuning display around a little bit and uh, change that. We can change the filter. Okay. So everything just is touch and drag. It works uh, pretty well. It will crash occasionally. But um, if you get it set up right, it, uh, it will work. Now, you could do this a couple of ways. One is that you could just actually not use Skype and use this as a remote control display for your um, software-defined radio software. And then the other way you could use this, of course, is that you can pick the whole thing up, take it someplace, sit down, and just kind of tinker around or listen to your radio. Now, it will transmit. And uh, I'm not sure how good that is or how bad that is. I haven't really tried it. But I think if you want to look into that, you probably need to do a little testing first. But if you have the virtual audio cable software installed to move the audio uh, back and forth from your iPad to your computer, uh, if you push the MOX button, it will begin to transmit through the microphone built into the um, uh, iPad. Uh, this is nothing new. This has been seen before, and uh, it's just a little different way of doing it. Um, the Air Display software works well uh, to do this, and uh, something you might want to give it a try. But it is kind of cool. You can take it around and uh, use it uh, in a remote location in your home or what have you. Uh, the other thing you can do, you can use this with an iPhone. The software is available for the iPhone, but the problem with the iPhone is it's just a very small display and you're not going to be able to see much, but you could, in fact, monitor the audio from one of the frequencies that you have tuned in. So that's kind of it. Just wanted to kind of show you this. Uh, again, nothing new. It's been done before, but this is just a little bit way of, di of, uh, of doing this, a little different way of doing this. All right, well, thank you very much. This is uh, KS4JU from hamradioscience.com, 73s.